God doesn't give a rat's ass what the vulture does for a living, what he's done to Africa. Why should I? Well, fuck God. Chapter one, Goldfinger. It's all my fault because I'm such a cheap bastard. I was told to rent a white van, something nondescript. A painter's or handyman. Chapter 2. Lady Bobbleland, the Islamic Republic of BP. Baku, Azerbaijan, 2010. I've just photographed every page of my notes. The pen camera bad penny slipped to me as I boarded the plane for Central Asia. I've ripped out the notebook's crucial pages and cleaned my iPad of everything but a folder marked BP Docs, which now contains nothing but a colorfully illustrated edition of Winnie the Pooh. My son loved that. Is, you is, motherfucker! Well, you tell me. Is it important or is just the It show? is important. Uh -huh. I'm not going to test, be tested by you. Fuck you. Mm. What keep you going all day? <laughs> going where? <laughs> Chapter 3, Pig in the Pipeline There's a legend told among the Inupiat Alaskans who live above the Arctic Circle. Etok tames the green people. It goes like this. In the old days, as today, the people on the edge of the Arctic Sea killed whales. It's just what they do. It's what they eat. But the green people didn't like that. And so the green people set out one day in their fancy-ass black powerboat to stop the people of the Arctic Sea from doing their whale kill.
done about 500 yards in a month, and they only have the rest of this beach and another 600 miles to go. And then they got to do it again. So now you have broken the code. It's catastrophic. Okay, it's doesn't this cover doesn't this cover for Chevron? It says America's wetland, but all the money, 100 percent came from the oil industry. God damn it, stop. Can, it can, can you can you turn wait. it off? Chapter 4, The Kunas Riviera. This was my first investigation of fish homicide, so I figured Rick and I needed a boat because Professor Steiner's submarine had just cleared the Panama Canal. First, they have to prove that it's caused by crude or by petroleum industry. And second, they have to prove that it is our crude, which is absolutely impossible. Let's go find out. In the old days, we hunted with blowpipes. Now I have a shotgun. For helicopter. They give us candy, sugar, diesel, fuel, and cheese. The cheese smelled funny. We threw it into the jungle. They say we could rub oil on our skin to cure aches and pains. Oh, so they told you that if you put oil on your skin, it would, uh, it would make you better? Sí, eso dijo sí. result of an accidental puncture to a wellhead. Now, Texaco said that when it was operating these wells, you didn't have many of these accidents. But that's maybe because of this. It says personal and confidential. It says reports are to be removed from the field division offices and destroyed. Like that. If you're here with me, you could smell it. Yum. Co fans say this is standard operating procedure. They drink this stuff, they swim in it. Did they show you a medical certificate? No. And it's the only case of cancer in the world? How many cases of kin child, children with cancer you have in the States, in Europe, in and Quito? The if there is somebody with cancer there, first they have to prove that scientifically has ne uh, nobody proved that uh, crude causes cancer. Okay? Uh, so, so they're looking for deep pockets. Simply as that. That's just, all what they want. They're just going after rich gringos. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. That's a, it's the largest fraud in the history. Chapter 5. 
chapter five. The cheese smelled funny, so we threw it in the jungle. When BP's golf well blew, Chevron began to shit bricks as it watched its stock drop 10%. No, I tell you, no, sir. Corruption charges. Corruption? Corruption is government intrusion into market efficiencies in the form of regulation. That's Milton Friedman. He got a goddamn Nobel Prize. We have laws against it precisely so we can get away with it. Corruption is our protection. Corruption keeps us safe and warm. Corruption is why you and I are prancing around in here instead of fighting over scraps of meat out in the street. Corruption is why we win. Other administrative costs? Giffen, 500,000. Did BP pay Giffen to pay a bribe? Yes. Do you comment that on me? No. I have something to Excuse yeah. me. Please. Just want to ask. So, you've, in your opinion, you've committed no bribery on behalf of of uh, British Petroleum. Did you make any payments on behalf of British Petroleum, legal or illegal? Are you a slaze bag? Chapter six, The Wizard of Ooze. Jack Grinberg said, how did you find me? I looked under G. The old spook was a hunter, not used to being hunted. I'm not Sam Spade. Grinberg only gets found when he wants to be found. Besides, the question wasn't how, but why. Before I was an investigative reporter, I worked for a living. I was actually an investigator. I decided to move into investigative reporting after my last investigation of the Exxon Valdez. It's been 20 years since Exxon's ship ran aground and destroyed a thousand miles of coastline. But the real story was never told. You know, in the official reports, it's drunken skipper hits reef, just some drunk at the wheel of, of a tanker. That's just not how it happened. Well, hello there. My, it's been a long, long time. And how am I doing? Oh, I guess that I'm doing fine. It's been so long now, but it seems now that it was only yesterday. Gee, ain't it funny how time slips away? And how's your new love? Well, I hope that he's doing fine. And I heard you told him that you'd love him till the end of time. Now that's the same thing that you told me. And it seems like only yesterday. Gee, ain't it funny? How time just slips away. Well, I gotta go now. Alaska, before the beginning. And I guess I'll see Raven, you that now. lying little bastard, came to Chenega Island, where the people slept and slept because there was only darkness. From his kayak, Raven gave them a box filled town. with daylight. He demanded. But remember. I know this might sound unduly paranoid, but I also have to be careful mm -hmm. um, how much I want to say over the telephone.
Now, if this were a movie, you would hear the audience screaming, don't take the key, don't go up those stairs. The reporter part of my brain was screaming, this smells bad. But I couldn't hear a thing, because while I was out for the story, the memory of Ms. Jamaica's hand in my pocket had drained the blood from me. Electro dollars, multi dollars, rice marks, rings, rubles, pounds, and shekels. It is the international system of currency which determines the totality of life on this planet. Am I getting food to you? Chapter 9, The Sorcerer's Stone. Let's say your daddy's rich. Let's say your name is Bush or Bin Laden or Bloomberg. says, you have to admit, it was a 9-0 earthquake, and they said they could only prepare for an 8-0 or an 8-2, and, and I lost it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Damn it, you're reading me something you heard on CNN? So you know it's horseshit. Oh my God, you're turning blonde on me. Don't do this. I went insane, apeshit berserk. And it wasn't only the psychotropic medicine I was on to stay off the booze. I, I actually kicked one of the plastic tubs of documents that shattered, the pieces flying all over the room. I was a madman. I was ashamed of myself, but I couldn't stop. No fucking 9-0 earthquake hit Fukushima. No, you don't run out of the room. The 9-0 was measured at the epicenter in the middle of the goddamn fucking Pacific Ocean, 100 miles away from Fukushima. That means that the actual ground acceleration right at the plant was maybe only 7.8. That means that 10 fucking percent of the 9-0 at the epicenter because the Richter scale is logarithmic. Are you listening to me? They don't tell you that on CNN, do they? Anderson Cooper was at the gym when they passed out the facts. Bad Penny stared. I don't want to talk to you when you're violent like this. A goddamn nuclear plant spewing isotopes is violent. The only person in this room who ever smashed someone in the jaw and broke someone's lip is you. I can't believe I was talking to her this way. I can't convey my decibel level. And there was broken glass and papers scattered all over the place. And she was grinning. So she said, you're going to write this up. Just as you told me now. Fukushima's distance from the epicenter. You can put it in the book just like that. I'll call Newsnight and tell Myron you'll do the story for BBC. I stared at her. I couldn't believe she'd done this. She'd provoked me into laying out the story and getting so furious. She knew I'd have to write it. Write it just like you told me now. And now I have. Chapter 10, Fukushima, Texas. Mr. Fairness. When the energy finance combine needs to screw the public, they hire a screwdriver and they call him Mr. Fairness.
We're in Switzerland, the land of milk, uh, the la land of the milkmaid and melted cheese. Melted cheese. The cheese fondue, that's what I want to say. So it wasn't created uh, just, you know, for a game. This sort of dark club of uh, multinationals uh, secretly cooking plots against the people. We do things in the open. Uh, look at our website. Governments negotiate in the open. No, no, no. no, no. In, in WTO, we don't have cigar smoking with uh, crazy bankers negotiating. You know what the perfect crime is? It's the one that's not illegal. Uncle Maxie told me that. My great uncle Maxie Eisen had his disagreements with Al Capone over who ran the numbers games. Okay. Look like I'm fast asleep. Welcome to Liberia in West Africa, where 80% of the people survive on less than a single dollar a day. Now, these people are being told that they have to pay $28 million to a bunch of financial speculators known as vulture funds. This was not supposed to happen. They took the nameplate off? Go, let's go back. That's the one that's has to be, because it goes down. Wait, wait. Someone just walked out. No, no, no. Holy cow. It's not a tent. It's how it looks like church. Where are you going to see the house? I understand. Okay. Yeah. So that you're out of his sight. Yes. Turn around. Turn around and be. Or, or be. No, you gotta be on the correct side of the road. Yes, I got oh, Jesus Christ, Greg. I'm a little moron. Mom, no, that was. You an extra cigarette? Chapter 13, Vulture's Picnic. FBI headquarters, Washington, D.C. The FBI told us to come in, Jones and me. It was a big shot G-man and a top gun from the Department of Justice. You don't need their name.
The detective is a complete man and a common man, and yet an unusual man. He must be, to use a rather weathered phrase, a man of honor, by instinct, by inevitability, without thought of it and certainly without saying it. He must be the best man in his world and good enough for any world. If he's a man of honor in one thing, he is that in all things. Yeah, that's easy for Raymond Chandler to say. His investigators were made up. They talked tough. They acted tougher. And honor came easy. They were single. They didn't have twins, payrolls, asthma, editors, what ifs, if onlys, colorectal tests that you put off, a junky red Honda. Not that I'm complaining. Chapter 14, lots of fish. Maybe BP will give me an explanation about the Baku blowout. There's always an explanation. Take back America
successful solution called the Peace Revolution. And now let's take back America. There was a dream, so believe it. Now get ready to receive it. And we'll take back America. And we'll take back America. And we'll take back. America It's all bullshit, you know. I'm pretending that I'm doing something important here, all this running around the globe and snooping in files with all this drama and demanding that you pay attention to it, pay attention to me. It's fake, vainglorious, and a joke. And I'm terrified you'll figure that out before the end of this book. And then what? In other words, I feel like crap. God has every right to smush me under his shoe like a cigarette butt. Bad Penny orders me to call a doctor. I dial the Reverend Thayer Green, doctor of psychology and theology. Dr. Green, well into his 80s, once liberated a concentration camp, or what there was left to liberate, it turned him to God and Carl Jung. I tell him about my failure, my failure to liberate anyone, but making a movie about it anyway, a big, empty noise. No one will listen to, and no one should. And then I'm dead. The silence was short while he consulted whom? Jung or the Lord? Then the doctor says, in a surprisingly aggressive and irrefutable voice, You're not your father. He asks for an address to send the bill. Immediately I feel better. Into the toilet bowl goes the last of the grape's golden blood. Trinken Sandfoot Kannibalen die Verzweiflung helden mit. Is that Bad Penny singing? Is that me? So goddamn, pal, speed the plow. Rider, 